Well, it's December 1st, meaning it is the first day of meteorological winter, but it's also the first day of December 1st being the National uh, Christmas Lights Day as well. Of course, there's a holiday for everything, right? And today's the day where we're talking about a popular day to put up those Christmas lights as we enter December. Uh, is it a good day to get some lights up if you haven't had a chance to yet? Well, Sure, it's going to be on the dry side, but it's breezy out there, so you're going to want to bundle up. Temperatures aren't terrible, but again, we're talking about winds that are bringing down our wind chills. So let's take a look at our numbers. We are warmest in the south. This is where we've seen that warm air pushing in sooner and longer. We could see that we're above freezing in Sisseton right now, 36 degrees. Northern Valley, we're more into the teens, 12 degrees right now in Langdon. 15 in Devil's Lake. It's 27 in Fargo. It's 23 in Grand Forks. We're looking at conditions that are going to be on that mild side uh, here the farther south you go. Now, there is that wind. It's responsible for the warm up. That air is coming in out of the south, the warmer south, but it is strong in spots. We've got that gust to 31 miles per hour in Fergus Falls. It's a breezy one in Fargo. Your lunch hour, 29 degrees, going to be quite breezy. And so we've got to factor this wind into how it actually feels to be outside that wind chill and some of us still feel like we're around zero this afternoon Langdon one of those spots at three below it's three above in Devil's Lake it feels more like 15 in Fargo and 12 in the Grand Forks area so conditions are going to feel colder as you are outside a look at your visible satellite map your radar layer here too where you don't see movement a reminder that generally means that's the snowpack that the satellites seeing where you do see movement here these gray and kind of white colors those are the clouds moving from west to east. So we've got some of them working their way through the valley. Uh, the the flakes that we were seeing earlier this morning, I'm not seeing any detected on the radar. Still, it can't rule out a flurry or two underneath some of those thicker clouds here today. It's looking westward for our next chance for some snow, that first alert weather day coming up for tomorrow. So let's talk about the next couple of days. We've got this afternoon, the clouds kind of taking over more and more. They get a little bit more substantial here by the 3 o'clock hour. You can see temperatures again in the south, more likely to be in the 30s. In the northern valley, more likely to be in the 20s. And so this is right around average for this time of year. Much warmer, though, compared to yesterday, thanks to that wind. And that wind stays brisk. It will slowly ease up. We're going to see gusts more into the teens to about 20 by the time we get into the 6 o'clock hour tonight. So if you're heading out for the tree lighting in West Fargo, just know that while the temperatures look pretty good, you may want that extra layer because of that wind still going even if it isn't as intense as it is right now. And then heading into tonight, the clouds stick around. The wind mainly stays southerly for most of the evening hours, and then it does turn into tomorrow morning. But just having the clouds and some movement to the air should keep our temperatures on a milder note overnight and into the start of the day tomorrow. Now, Friday, first alert weather day. Here's a look at what to expect. So we're going to see mainly quiet conditions initially, but notice what happens as we head into the afternoon. We'll get that snow starting to develop and move into eastern North Dakota through the late morning hours. Around this time tomorrow, it's trekking over into Minnesota too. And we've got these gusts above 30 miles per hour combined with falling snow, and that's going to bring down visibility for anybody trying to travel after school, after work Friday, heading out to your uh, destinations for the evening or maybe for the weekend, you're going to want to watch out. As far as snowfall potential is concerned, a couple of things. The placement of the heavier snow, relatively speaking, it's not necessarily going to be a heavy snow event, but that shifts a little bit. Mainly we've been seeing it in that Central Valley and north from there, and right now it's looking like, you know, right in that uh, Fargo to north of uh, uh, that that area toward Grand Forks, but again, that could move a little bit depending on where the band sets up. So add a few inches of snow with some wind, and we've got some problems there. We just saw, there we go, there's a seven-day planner. You can see that for tomorrow, again, that's going to be the toughest day. Saturday's going to be a little cold for the Holiday Lights Parade, but it's all in all quieting down for the weekend. Yeah, then it looks like enjoy Sunday because then negative temperatures next week. Yeah, you know, I didn't up. even want to mention it because <laughs> we know that's coming. Yep. Let's focus on the good stuff yeah, right we'll now. We'll do. Lisa.